The Angami was a publisher and reading was always my thing and writing, so publishing and helping to teach the youth the truth about their roots and culture. That's one of the major leaders' uh, mottos. Mm -hmm. So we are here to help teach the youth the truth about their roots and culture. Wonderful. And um, tell us some of the main features that the magazine projects. Uh, we cover reggae music, mm -hmm. all kind of black music, African pop, you know, soul R&B, mm -hmm. it's black conscious, mm -hmm. uh, sports, current affairs, uh, culture, there's photography, we have good ph photographers and good pictures in our magazines. Uh, we've done health and wellness, a little bit of everything. Okay, and um, t t I mean, tell the Roots of Them listeners, how does it is how's it issued? Is it issued on a monthly basis, a fortnightly basis, six monthly? Used to be bi monthly. The last couple of years, the economy all over the world has gone down the tubes. Mm -hmm. A lot of stores and businesses that used to be sponsors don't exist anymore. Mm -hmm. So getting the support is a little harder than it used to be. Mm -hmm. So we have to go more into pockets now, even though we're still dependent on sponsors. Right. So now we're, uh, what should we say, quarterly or as often as we can put it out. Okay. And is, can you access it digitally? Um, not at the moment. We we had it online. It's now offline. We'll soon be back online. But our thing is, if we can be one of the few remaining print magazines mm -hmm. left where you can actually hold it in your hand and feel it, and we're, on. We're, we're swimming against the tide. Mm -hmm. But it's going to be something worthwhile and memorable if we can stick it out. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of also demand. We've been around, so the name Roots is like branded and we get requests from magazine, magazine. But it's very popular amongst artists, isn't it? Yes. So artists do read it and engage in it and do support it, which is wonderful. Um, to also tell the Roots Fair listeners why are you here today? This is a free day event, the Rastafari Roots Fest. Why have you chosen to be associated with this event today? Well, I, I want the priest to say something also. Uh, also here with me, please. Okay, so please. welcome this, the, the second court founder. Can you introduce yourself now? Priest Doug. Welcome, Peace Dougie. Um, tell us why. Why Rastafari Roots Fest? First of all, we are Roots Ready and Culture Magazine, and it's Roots. We are Rastafari. It's put on by Rastafari. So it's a natural part of our culture. So we are here to support and express our culture. Okay. And tell us, what is the purpose of this magazine? Why is this magazine necessary to be printed? It's a chronicle of our history, present history. It's also to educate, like my brethren said, the youth about the truth, about their culture, to show them their culture in a modern way, making it more appealing and relevant to their existence. And can you tell us where we can find you and where can we access this magazine? Well, this is everywhere, but we are based in Florida for right now. But we are back and forth between Jamaica and Florida. We are all over the place. You can get roots in New York, Philadelphia, Washington. So it's international? International. So what about the Jamaican citizens or Jamaican visitors or Jamaican residents? Country residents? farm. Where, yeah, where are they out there now? Country farm, Western, um, McGregor, uh, Meals on um, Meals. Veggie Meals, uh, Meals, Meals on Meals, on Meals yes, Meals. okay. Yeah, Elgo's Art Gallery, Montego Bay. Wonderful. So I, I was a personal version of Peter Tosh, and Peter Tosh was the walking billboard promoting the decriminalization and the legalization of marijuana, cannabis, ganja. Similarly, we have been promoting the decriminalization and the legalization of marijuana in this magazine from ever since. So it's a natural progression with things as they are now for us to be here. Uh, the priest is also involved in the medical marijuana industry, yes. working with some of the the, the, the the foremost doctors in the field. Mm -hmm. So again, he has a re he can speak more to that, but mm -hmm. that's another reason for us to be here. We're involved in the marijuana ganja industry, not just from an entertainment, from a, uh, what do they call it, from a recreational standpoint, mm -hmm. but from a health and wellness. The Rastaman always says, 
superb is the healing of the, of the nations. And with what the priest is doing now, with the doctors he's working with, science has proven that what I heard Peter Tosh always say about the, the healing properties of herb is a scientific fact. Yeah, ask priest more. He can tell you. He, he, he's, he's been treating patients from abroad and from here in Jamaica with cancer and healing them. Yes, I said it. Right now, we have healed cancer patients with ganja. Ask him. Well, I mean, we, we, we know this to be a fact. We, we know that ganja is not a... Um, it's not hostile to our it's system. It's not detrimental to your it's, health. It's not. And it, just like any other herb, if it's misused and it's abused, then the effects may result in that. So that's why we it must be encouraged to educate ourselves about these herbs. It's so safer we, than peanuts. That's right. And so, so we know what's going on. Um, just tell us briefly about your, um, your projects in regards to healing process. Special herb, special APM treatment, also in the colitis, lung cancer, breast cancer, and we have seen the power of the denomination. It shrinks tumors, and that's a fact. Okay, I'm, I, I mean, I, that's mind blowing. It's absolutely mind blowing. And the thing about it is, it's, it's something that we always knew. There's always been one or two stories out there that have said, you know, through your diet, change of diet, change of mentality, change of environment, Lifestyle. Um, and energy um, can change anything. Yeah. Um, and I, as you said, I think it's liberating to know that Rastafari is Rastafari, has never tried to be anything different. And it is beautiful to know that now the world can see that it wasn't a lie, it wasn't a mislead, it wasn't a deception, it was the real, real perception of life. And we are now celebrating the liberty. And I just feel grateful to be a younger amongst you elders to be here to say, yes, I can be a part of this. This is history, you know. So um, thank you, thank you very much. Just tell us again who you are and why this magazine is important. Well, I'm the president of Roots Foundation, a company that publishes Roots Reggae and Culture. He's the editor-in-chief, and we publish this magazine, like we say, to educate our upcoming generation about their roots and culture. Part of that culture is that we speak about the medical properties of the ganja plant, which the Rasta man been telling the world about for many, many, many days. Yeah. So, it is a very important piece of media that we're trying to keep alive yes. to give the voice to the voiceless mm -hmm. and to help demand the rights of the disenfranchised. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Um, and, and let me put in my piece please. And Marcus Garvey said, a people without the knowledge of their history and culture is like a tree without roots mm -hmm. and anything without roots withers and dies. Mm -hmm. So our purpose and the magazine's purpose is to keep African people, African minds connected with their African roots. So we teach the youth the truth about their roots and culture. Beautiful. And just tell the people who you are again. And I am I Jabalani Tafarai, mm -hmm. the managing editor of the Roots magazine and vice president of Roots Foundation. Wonderful. Um, I have one recommendation. And the only reason I'm making this recommendation is because of the way life has advanced now. I'm recommending that you get that magazine digitalized. Because you see, I, me personally, I love books. I'm not really into the whole Kindle thing and the online thing because I love the authenticity of touching the pages, hence why you've preserved that medium of the magazine. Of reaching the younger generation. Um, that's right, but however, the way social, I mean, I used to have one social media, I did. I, I didn't like technology, but technology has proven to be, adva it advances us. And if it's used in the right way, it can reach millions yes, of people and it can change millions of lives and I just feel that we need to focus more on the positive rather than the negative and that needs to be digitalized ASAP <laughs> like yesterday because it can reach a faster amount of persons and wake them up and sometimes people are just kind of idling and they just come across something like this that can really wake them up so that's the Roots Affair of 96.1 recommendation Roots and Roots <laughs> is to get Roots digitalized and any way we can assist you we will and, and, okay and I and I defend Roots with quality. Yes, man. <laughs> you know, so give thanks to be on Roots FM and thank you for a beautiful interview. You're a great interviewer. Oh, thank you.
thank you very much. Well, um, this is me, Seth I Fire, they know me as, and also Empress Seth Liatu, and I report to you on the news, my Sephirina Order. So we are here live at the Rastafari Roots Fest at Long Bay Beach, New Grill, and we are here celebrating Rastafari and the positive properties of ganja, marijuana, and weed. Thank you very much.